Welcome to Karma Tech guys. In this video, I am going to guide you through all the gestures which you can use on your MacBook trackpad. So if you are using MacBook Air or MacBook Pro, you can start using these gestures because it will definitely change your using experience. Now before getting into the video, uh, let me show you the trackpad settings which I have done. So if you go in system settings and if you go in trackpad, under pointer, uh, point and uh, click, these are the settings I have done. You can take a look at it and you can set it as per your requirement. In scroll and zoom, uh, I have kept everything on. And in more gestures, these are my trackpad settings. So you can take a look at it. Also, one more thing. If you go in mouse and trackpad, and if you go in trackpad options, again, here are a few settings I have done related to my trackpad. So if you are with the same settings which I have done, then you are good to go. Basically, each and everything which uh, which I am uh, going to show you, you will be able to do that with your trackpad. So let's get started. Now let's start with the first gesture which is for notification and widget panel. So if you point your cursor on the right hand side top corner and you click over there, you will be able to access widget panel or notifications. But you can you uh, do that with swipe gesture. All you need to do is you need to swipe from the right hand side uh, on the trackpad with two fingers. And if you do that, you will be able to access the notification panel and widget panel and to close it back again you can swipe towards right and you're good to go so if you swipe towards left from the right hand side of the trackpad you can access the widget panel and if you swipe towards the right you can close it now the next basic gesture is related to accessing launchpad so whenever you want to open a launchpad uh, usually we go in dock and we select launchpad like this but you don't have to do that you can use swipe gesture so uh, you can use your four fingers on the trackpad you can pinch in with four fingers and you will be able to access launchpad and to you know get out of the launchpad you can pinch out using four fingers and you will you are good to go so yeah four fingers pinch in launchpad is open and four fingers pinch out launchpad is closed so the next gesture is related to moving files. So let's say if I want to move a file from particular uh, from any folder to other folder, all you need to do is you need to point your cursor over there and use three fingers. So if I, you know, use three fingers and drag like this, it is going to move the file. So from this iMovie files folder, I'm going to keep it on the desktop. And if I leave it over here, the file is moved. So you can see it has moved from iMovie files to desktop. Similarly, again, if you want to move back another file or do anything, you can just point your cursor over there, use three fingers and drag like this and you're good to go. Now the next gesture is related to renaming the files or folder. So usually what we do is we select the particular folder or file and we press enter and it gets into editing mode. So we can rename after that, but you don't have to do that. You can use swipe gesture or the gesture on trackpad. All you need to do is just point your cursor over there and hard press on the text and it will you know enable editing text and that's how you can edit that particular file name or folder name so that's it point uh, your cursor over there hard press on the trackpad and editing mode will be enabled so the next gesture is related to switching desktop so if you're using multiple desktop in your mac then if you want to directly switch it you don't have to point your cursor over here and then select another desktop you can directly switch using the gesture so let me open a particular application in desktop one and let's open another application in desktop two. So let's say if I open pages over here in desktop two and app store is open in desktop one. Now to switch between desktop, all you need to do is you need to use four finger swipe gesture on your trackpad. So if I swipe right, I can go to uh, desktop one. If I swipe to left on trackpad, I can go to desktop two. And if you have multiple uh, desktop, you can use this swipe gesture as similarly as I'm using it. So yeah, this is how you can switch between desktop. Now next gesture is related to moving this particular window. So whichever file or window you have opened, what we usually do is we click and hold on the trackpad and then we move the window like this. But you don't have to do that. You can use three finger gesture to move your window. So if you, uh, you know, point your cursor over there and if you use three fingers, this is how you can move the window on your Mac. So the next gesture is related to preview file. So if I open any particular file, usually what we do is to preview file, we select the file and we use spacebar to preview that particular file. And again, if you uh, press spacebar, 
the preview is closed now you can do this using gesture all you need to do is you need to point your cursor over there and if you tap three fingers you can preview that file and again if i tap three fingers on trackpad that video will be closed so this is how you can preview files using the three finger tap gesture now if you want to preview any particular folder point your uh, cursor over there select that and tap three fingers and you will be able to preview the file or folder whichever thing you want now another three finger gesture is if i open any particular browser let's say if you want to select any particular text over here you don't have to click and hold the on uh, trackpad and then you know drag like this to select text you can directly select text using three finger gesture so you can you know point your cursor over there and with the help of three finger if you swipe like this this is how you can select the text and the selected text if you want to copy it tap two fingers on the trackpad and then from here you can copy it so yeah start using three finger gesture for selecting your text now the next gesture is related to downloading image and that is also with the help of three finger if i open this particular image if i want to download it to my desktop i'm going to point my cursor over there and with the help of three finger i'm going to drag it to my desktop and this is how i can download it so yeah you can start using this gesture for downloading your image now the next gesture is related to lookup which you can use you know for getting meanings for any particular word so let's say if i want to know the meaning of this uh, popularizing word i'm going to point my cursor over there and if i tap with three fingers on the trackpad this is how it will show the interface so basically on whichever word you uh, you know tap with three fingers it will show the dictionary and the meaning of that particular word so yeah this is also a good thing now the next gesture is related to mission control so let's say if you are working on multiple applications at the same time and all the applications are open on one particular desktop if you want to check with uh, what applications are open or how many applications are open on the desktop all you need to do is you can use a uh, four finger swipe up gesture and this is how it will showcase all the open application if i close any one application so let's say if i minimize this app store app and after that if i use four finger swipe up gesture you can see in mission control it is not showing app store yeah so the application should be open then only it will show the app in mission control so this is how you can check whichever application you are running now the last gesture is related to app expose now what is app expose so let's say uh, there are two tabs open for the same browser right so you can see i have open google chrome and if i want to check out another a window if i right click over here you can see another tab is there which is youtube if i open that you can see there are two windows for google chrome if you want to check out how many windows are actually open for that particular browser you can use this app expose uh, you know gesture now what we have to do you have all you have to do is you have to swipe down with four fingers and you will be able to check all the windows open for that particular browser so yeah this is how you can check out app expose so that's pretty much it for today's video guys the video was long but i hope this video was definitely helpful to you if it was you can like and subscribe to my channel so i'll see you all in the next one thank you